I'm Martine LaDuke. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. And we're here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve today to show you life science at a social distance. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem, and we're going to just continue our learning about life science here in the uplands. We just kind of walked out of the woods here into this open area, and we're going to be looking for ant lion funnels. Um, nice sandy areas where there's loose sand is a good spot to check out uh, around the base of trees under park benches right next to buildings sometimes where you know there there can be rain but then they can also be protected also sometimes just out in the open you just look for ant hills and then looking around the edges of them you might see some of the little funnels where the ant lions make their little dens where they're able to pop up and grab those little ants that fall in so let's take a look all right, so we're looking out here. We found some ant lion holes, and there's ant hills close by, so we know they're here, they're active. Uh, one way to check and see if there's an ant lion in it is to just sprinkle a little bit of sand and see if one pops up out of the bottom. And what they do is they grab with their pinchers, and this is part of their life cycle. Uh, they do become lace wings, and we'll talk about that later. And so they are comparable because they have complete metamorphosis. So just like in second grade and maybe kindergarten, you learned about butterflies and how they metamorphosize and change. Well, same thing with the ant lion. They have four more stages. So what we're gonna do is um, look at the ant lion hole. We're gonna dig that up. We're gonna start down at the bottom and just kind of bring it up and take a close up look at it. You can see him here, he goes backwards, trying to keep burrowing himself into the sand. So if you put a little sand in your hand, you'll kind of burrow into it. But you see in the front, he has little pinchers. That's what he grabs the ants with so that he's able to hold onto them and eat them. He's gonna try and burrow right between my fingers there. Um, but again, they look very different than what you'd think an ant lion would look like. A lot of times you think of a lion, well, it's big and ferocious. These just live in the sand and kind of ferocious with those ants. Uh, this is what the ant lion actually metamorphosizes into. It's the lace wing, and you can find these on screens and things maybe near your home or when you're out in nature looking around. And um, you can always look for ant lions around your home. Try and find those little funnels like we showed you. Sprinkle some sand in there to pretend that you are an ant or mimic an ant and uh, see the ant lion popping up. And then, of course, just dig down underneath it. Hope you have fun with that. Investigate outside. This is Ginger from Boyd Hill. Have a good day.